Hello, wonderful interwebs, it is I, David, sweatiest of all the Hewlett's, here to moan, groan, and complain about the torture device. 65 minutes that felt like 65 years. Um, Mondays suck. I hate Mondays. They're just the most difficult days to motivate anything. You gotta get the kid out of bed. He doesn't want to get out of bed. I don't want him to get out of bed. I want to hang out with him. I want three-day weekends, not two-day weekends. They're fun. Uh, but no, he's got to go to school and there's all sorts of drama about what homework he should have done and didn't because he was streaming with his dad. Way to go, buddy. Get me in trouble. Anyways, this is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son. And to enjoy the coming twilight years of my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane, I hate exercise. It's boring, so I like to learn something while I'm doing it. I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable, grumpiest, and guilt-inducing way possible. Because if I don't post it, I haven't done it. So um, the guilt is there. The guilt is real. I'm literally leaning on a, on, on a light stand. I am so exhausted. It was miserable today. I'm not going to lie. This whole exercise thing, there are some days it just sucks. Um, and today was one of them. I started, I got like four minutes in, and I suddenly realized, oh my gosh, I got a doctor's appointment. So I had to like race off to the doctors, go do all that. Apparently, I'm not going to die anytime soon, um, despite what my hypochondria believes. Um, and so I come back, and I got to start all over again. So I did that, but I did it. I plowed through 65 minutes, probably only got through because of the learn part of the burn. As I say, working out the brain and the body makes a big difference. Uh, C programming, yes, the Latin of programming languages, as we're calling it. Um, today, getting into structures, uh, building structures, how to then get in and address the parts of the structures that you built using the dot notation, which I am very familiar with, very sort of object-oriented kind of thing. Um, orientated? I never thought oriented? Orientated? I don't know. Um, and uh, also getting into, oh boy, this is, I mean, you talk about the nightmare zone, the horror, the terror of pointers. Pointers are something that I have always sort of dodged and and, and, uh, and avoided as much as I possibly can. Any programming I've done, I have avoided pointers at all costs because I just I couldn't get my head around it. This guy this is a LinkedIn learning course again. It's part of this Arduino um, developers course. Um, uh, this guy's doing a really good job, I gotta say. It's still terrifying, to be honest, and a little bit my eyes and brain start to glaze over a bit after a while, but I'm going back over it a couple times and it sort of makes sense. And I, and I had this sort of epiphany where I went like, wait a second. I see why that could work. Instead of, so pointers basically, instead of just addressing what the variable is, like, you know, the number four, it addresses the area of memory that that four is staying in. So I could see how that could really save some space in the old memory department, because instead of having to constantly create copies of things, you can just address the error, like say, no, look over there, it's over there. Take what's in this memory location as opposed to, you know, this variable. So it's just kind of a neat thing. I mean, I don't know exactly how to get my head around it, but um, I know there are a number of functions in C that actually require you to understand the whole pointer system. So I will do it. I will persevere with my pointers. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so 65 minutes didn't exactly fly by, but um, uh, certainly uh, some amazing stuff. I just, God, I love, the C programming stuff is just really cool, I gotta say. Um, it makes me feel like, uh, you know, I'm learning the dark arts. I'm like a wizard at my old um, book of spells, trying to figure out how this stuff works. Uh, very D&D, very D&D feeling. Um, so, uh, what's up? Well, still a lot of love to the 1440 makers. I spent last night following lots of them on Twitter and saying hi and and thanks and following up on things. I had a great Twitch stream last night with Bratlett, like so much fun. It was just so great to be back in there again. And people were so incredibly sort of generous and and uh, and and jolly and excited. And yeah, it was really great. Baz and I came up and we were just like buzzing with excitement. So, uh, so that was fantastic. I just did a little sort of Fortnite and stuff. I didn't even play. I think I played like twice. I think I got like maybe two shots off before I was killed. Um, uh, the rest of the time I just spent downloading the actual updates and, uh, and chatting to people on the, uh, on the, on the, um, uh, the Twitch uh, chat, which I just, I love doing. So, uh, so thank you to everybody for that. Uh, I've started getting, oh, right. Yes. Sign yourself up. Hear ye, hear ye. The Techlets newsletter is the Tech Bandits newsletter that I put together. I have created um, a little place on uh, thetechbandits.com for you to sign up for it. So if you want to get in on this mailing list, it's a good one. This week especially is a really good one. What I try to do is I, I do a little update about what I'm doing with Tech Bandits, some ideas and things that I learned and things that I learned never to do 
again. Um, and then I like to include like a bunch of little inspirations, like things that somehow relate to science or tech or engineering or arts or math, or either all of them or some of them, and just things that I think that the, the kids would be excited about and things that, you know, parents could talk to them about or, or kids could explore further and stuff. They're usually quite advanced uh, concepts, but the but the the general idea is sort of just to get them excited about cool stuff. So there's some really neat stuff um, uh, this week. Uh, there's always fun stuff because you know you got a whole internet out there to pick from. So um, and people are actually starting to suggest things for techlets, which I love. I had like um, uh, a couple the other day. Um, I had to go to a dinner party on the weekend, and uh, and this uh, this amazing couple uh, who deal with uh, spiders and uh, and. Um, uh, and crickets and and, and uh, insect acoustics and stuff. It's oh, so cool. Anyways, uh, they they were recommending a couple of um, a couple of things that they'd found about um, assistive tech in the lab and that kind of stuff. And then someone else, um, one of our uh, one of our fantastic uh, Twitch stream viewers, subscribers, followers, whatever you call them, wonderful people. Um, has recommended this exosuit um, group on um, on Facebook that I'm going to check out as well. So just lots of really cool stuff to follow up on and uh, feeling very, very um, sort of uh, very, very happy to have found this crazy little online community of, uh, of, of people who stream and 3D print and, and care about countries that are on fire. And you should too, by the way. And if you do have a couple of extra dollars, you know, head on over to um, 44 Makers and... Uh, and um, uh, and see if you can throw some money at uh, you get like you can you can buy these these little three D printable uh, models and even if you don't want to print them just give them a couple of bucks and um, and uh, it all uh, it all helps the cause and as I say t over ten thousand dollars in twenty four hours amazing like Shane uh, Shane and the and the rest of the the lads and ladies who um, who uh, participated were just God, they're just <laughs> just an amazing bunch I feel very I feel very very fortunate to be um, to be a part of that whole um, that whole sort of community now uh, just because of just because I just because I like playing with tech so um, anyways so I've got some new tech to unpack and figure out um, maybe for this week I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm going to go back to the uh, robotic arms feeding the kids cereals. Uh, seeing if I can, I can, I can uh, sort of get them to sort of advance their ideas from there, uh, or whether I'm going to try something completely different because I got some other ideas as well that are sort of coming up because of this Techlets thing. So get in there, sign up for Techlets. It's free. It's just fun. Um, I mean, I'll probably pester your, pester you for Patreon and stuff on there as well. But like, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll beg you for donations to keep, uh, to keep the Tech Bandits thing uh, uh, up and running and fun. Uh, but, uh, but there is a lot of just fun stuff in there. You don't have to. I mean, just, just you know, come sign up and and, and enjoy the fun. On whether you can uh, whether you can actually uh, help out or not doesn't matter. Uh, I am looking um, at sponsors and stuff. So if you've got a company and you want me to, you think it, it's a good fit or something, let me know um, because I'm uh, I'm looking to sort of uh, uh, help sort of supplement what we're doing with maybe some tech from companies or uh, obviously I mean funding would be fantastic too. But um, not sure exactly how it would work. But uh, happy to talk that through with people if if there, anyone has sort of businesses or sponsorship ideas, let me know. Um, and uh, yes, so I better go get changed. Until we geek again, so what do you not? Here I come or there I go.